what we have here is the Huffman apparatus, um, not built like your typical Huffman apparatus, because this is built for usability and ease of use and, and maximized gas production. So what we have here is the terminals on each end, uh, the electrodes being inside, the clear uh, tubing, uh, so you can see what's going on. And we have two mason jars inverted full of water into in pie plates that are also full of water. And I have my digital multimeter over here in the corner so that we can uh, monitor the, um, the ampers that we're drawing. Okay, uh, Inside this uh, Huffman apparatus is uh, distilled water. And it's got a little bit of lye in it to, uh, to encourage uh, and to promote electrical conductivity so that we can actually break this water down into hydrogen and oxygen. I have a um, positive terminal here hooked up to this terminal, um, a positive lead I should say from a 12, a 12 volt battery source and we have a negative lead over here going through the amp meter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these, um, these tubings uh, underneath the water uh, so that we can collect gas in the mason jars. So I'll put this tubing under here and I'll put this tubing under here in this one here. Okay. So I'll hook up this thing here and we can watch the gas production. As you can see, we have some vigorous gas production activity going on, going on here. Through, we can clearly see through these clear tubings. This here, being the um, the cathode, the uh, negative lead, is producing hydrogen, and this here, from the anode, is producing oxygen. Uh, right now, the ammeter reads 5.86, 5.87. It's going up to pretty much close to. Um, I don't know if you can see that six. Uh, it's at six amps right now. Uh, this is by far the most. Um, uh, po most powerful uh, Huffman apparatus uh, you've probably ever seen and ever ever will see. I'll just get a close up on this so you can really get a good uh, glimpse as to what's going on here. We have the hydrogen uh, vigorously going up in in this uh, tubing here, uh, going up through the tube and in to the um, into the inverted uh, mason jar full of water. On this side here, we got the oxygen going up here uh, through the tube and into the um, in the mason jar here on this side. So again, what you're seeing here uh, is the the electrolyzed electrolyzed water effect. Um, decomposing water to its basic element hydrogen and oxygen. You see more on the uh, the hydrogen side, on the right side, because water contains twice as much hydrogen as oxygen. So you see, so that we will produce twice as much gas on uh, the right side as we will on, on the left side. This is quite amazing. This here also is uh, what, what what makes what differs uh, differentiates this from uh, other electrolyzers and other uh, water water um, uh, decomposing um, electrolysis equipment is that we actually separate the the hydrogen from the oxygen, what makes which makes it much much safer. Uh, whereas uh, lots of other um, uh, electrolyzers and water electrolyzers and hydrogen generators actually produce the hydrogen along with the oxygen which is in effect much much dangerous uh, so here we've got um, hydrogen on this side oxygen on this side separated and, and in into uh, very vigorous production here you can see quite a bit of bubbles coming up on here and of course uh, uh, we've got two bubbles here to one bubble here being twice as much uh, A2O twice as much oxygen as there is, uh, or sorry, twice as much hydrogen as there is oxygen. And here you can see now, because of the heat that it is producing, we are actually at a uh, higher amperage. Hope you can see this. Uh, it's at um, 7 point, almost 7.3, 7.3 amps and counting. So we are making quite good progress here in our hydrogen pro production.
and as you can see it's it's actually producing very well and it's getting very very vigorous on this side. I'll get you I'll get one more close up before we actually test the hydrogen and oxygen. Here you can see just nothing but vigorous gases activity here going up through the tube and into the inverted mason jar and again on the, the oxygen side going through the tube and into the inverted mason jar on this side. As it stands right now we're at about 7.6 amps and it looks like it's just about around that 7.6 um, actually no it's actually st it's still climbing 7.64 and at some point this will actually uh, reach a plateau where it will hover at a certain um, a certain amperage and it will just produce uh, vigorously at that point. But right now I will stop this hydrogen and oxygen production and take the tubing out And I will actually take some jars out from the water. I'll just put lids under here. Put the lid up here. And you will see that this here is actually pure hydrogen. And this side here is pure oxygen. Just turn the right side up here. As stated, this is pure hydrogen and this is pure oxygen. As the flame gets really bright and uh, burns vigorously here. Okay, and there you have it hydrogen and oxygen separated and with mass production, very, very efficient, very, very powerful.